So now, I'm going to click on this one. Okay, this one on the top. Go to the effects. And let's give it a bevel. Now let's change the size maybe to a one maybe. This is just so that it has more depth to it. And we're also going to enable drop shadow. I'm going to change the intensity of that so that it's not too dark. This is just to give it more depth. Say OK to that. See what the difference is between this one and this one. So now that we have that, last thing we need to do is enable one of these let's move this up actually select them shift I'm going to move those all the way up so that we can see them and now what we have to do is place the, place the leaves wherever we want them to be so select this one move it around scale it Move this one, scale that down. So now, right now, all we have to do is just place the leaves where we think they they will look fine. One more thing I want to do is enable the drop shadow for the leaves as well. So let's do that just because this one's starting to look uh, too flat there. So let's go to effects and drop shadow. Lower that so that we can see here the shadow. A bit. Okay, say okay to that. Now to transfer the, the effects to another layer, if you hold down ALT and click on the effects uh, picture here, drag it to this one, you give it to that leaf. Do the same with the other ones. So ALT on the effects, drag it down and you give, it, you give the same effect to all, all the other ones. So let's continue placing the leaves where we think they will look okay. So right now that's all we have to do until we are done. And again remember if you hold down ALT when you're on this select tool, hold down ALT, you're duplicating one of the layers. And just transform that layer, I mean that leaf. You can also use the warp to kind of change the shape of it slightly. Just want to make sure that you place the leaves where it makes sense. It's not all so that it doesn't look weird. Make it look natural, as natural as possible. Okay, so now that once you have something kind of similar to this, you placed all the leaves in different places with, uh, along the branches. I deleted uh, one of the area of the branches here, in the branch. So if you want to even give it a little more bur difference between the, the leaves, you can add uh, maybe a hue and saturation. you can kind of change the color. Now if you hold down ALT between these two layers it's only going to affect whatever layer with that is. I'm not so sure which one it is. Oh, it's, it's this one.
okay and now you can do the same as last time if you hold down alt move it down okay so now we have more difference between the the branch and the leaves so there's more bury there's more difference between the, the different leaves so now that we have this now it's time just to finalize the process so let's go all the way down here to that layer that has the the mask for the branch actually let's let's start from the top so we have one of the branches here right so if you hold down control on that branch you see that it selects the branch and now do the same with all of the if you hold down shift I mean control shift you continue to do the same with all the other ones and add them to the selection and also the one that has that mask make sure you click on this one now for some reason it's not letting me add it to that selection so what I'm going to do is once you have selected all the leaves make sure you have select them, selected them all the leaves create a new layer and fill that layer with black so let's do alt delete okay now to deselect control D now let's go to that layer that has the branch the branches this one and control click on that let's go back to that new layer that we created alt delete actually let's do control shift I control shift I just so that we don't we only get the, the branches now let's do alt backspace alt delete okay control D to deselect this is what we get So now let's go to the channels. Click on the blue one and select it and drag it here so that you create a duplicate. Let's name that alpha. Now control L to bring the levels because we have some extra uh, transparency here from the from that drop shadow we're gonna get rid of that so we're going to move the this one that way so that we get rid of that kind of halo that we that we were getting actually have a better idea let's cancel that let's go to this one let's actually undo okay control D now that we only have this one visible so let's create a layer beneath that one oops and fill that with white so that we only see this one let's do control L to this one to get rid of that the halo Okay, and now let's select that one with the, which is this one, and do the Control Shift I. 
Let's make a new layer for this one. Fill that with black. Alt delete. Okay, now we have that. This is a better way than doing it within the channels. Sorry about that. Okay, now let's go to the channels and duplicate this one. Let's name it alpha. Click on the RGB one. Now we don't need these ones anymore. We just needed those to create that alpha to make that easier for us. So that if we click on here, we get all that selection. So now we're basically done with the with the texture in here. So you can keep all the different layers, probably have it as a separate file. But once you're done, if you want to have a, I would recommend keeping that one with the layers. Once you're done, you just go to layer and flatten image. You only have one image now, and you still have the that alpha. Now we're going to make sure the alpha right now is not correct. It's not for Maya. We want to make sure that this is white and the outside is black. So we're going to control I to inverse that. Now this is what we wanted. So now we are done. We can save it. Now I recommend I have problems using PSD files in Maya, so I'm going to save it as a as a targa. Once you save it, make sure you have it set to 32 bits. And now we are done with the with the texturing and we can go back to Maya. So now that we have that texture, remember we have this uh, this plane here and we want to apply a new material so right hold down right click assign new material. For this case we're just going to leave it as a Lambert but you can select anything else you want. So now click on the checker box for the color and select file unless you created a PSD file. I recommend you use a targa so select file and just look for that and there you have it. This, are, this is what I was expecting. It's exactly what I wanted. If you wanted to see that the texture, press 6. 6 for texture. Okay. And if you want to give the the base, of course, we want to have a texture as well. Actually, I'm going to combine these. Go back to polygons here. Mesh, combine. I'm going to delete the history of this. Now let's give this one a new material as well. I'll just give it a Lambert. File. And I provided a a texture for, for you to use. Or you can find your own texture for like this one. Now it's not going to look good right now. See how it looks all washy. It looks doesn't look good. So we're going to click here where it says place 2D texture. And we're just going to tile that. So here where it says repeat UV. I think we're going to click select this to 10 maybe. Mm, no, that's not giving us what we want. So we'll keep that. Maybe it's this one. There you go. So we have our texture and it looks way better. So now that you have that and you have your leaf, now we added some extra points here so you can kind of change this the shape of it slightly if you wanted to doesn't have to be too radical but just a little bit if you want it to of course now control D to duplicate that 
and all we have to do now is just place all the leaves the leaves where we want them to be so I would select this one and use that click here where it says make live now first thing we want to do is we want to change the pivot point for this one so that when we rotate it rotates according to this the tip of the, the branch so click insert on your keyboard insert and we're going to move that so this is our pivot point so now that when we rotate it rotates according to that so since we have that as a live object we can just move this and it's going to snap to it and all you have to do is control D and click keep duplicating these objects and placing them where you think they they make sense and this is basically how you would make a a tree and all the leaves for the for a video game see and once once you're done you're gonna have it's going to look like a tree you're gonna have all those leaves around and we got too much too much uh, orangey leaves there but it depends on your tree so this is the end of the tutorial just all you have to do is place all the, the leaves where they are going to look okay there's nothing specific about these parts it's all about just placing them okay so that's where the tutorial ends and hope you have fun making and making a tree and that you learn how to make one okay thank you